Hey guys, so Legends has just undergone a fairly long maintenance. It actually got extended. I believe in total it was probably around like nine hours long or so. So that is a pretty long maintenance. The whole game was down. Um, and they were updating the game to, I believe it's update 4.3.0. Which, um, you know, whenever they do these game-wide maintenances, they typically do tend to add quite a bit of new functionality to the game. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what exactly they did. Now, before we even do anything, I will say that I, I'm not sure if this is reflected in the video. I don't think it will be reflected in the video because my resolution for the video is set at 1080p. But... The actual resolution for the game on my phone looks way better, way sharper. The quality just looks way higher. So I think what they probably did, and I don't know if this is actually reflected or, or um, written down in the actual um, update notes or information section, but I think they started to support higher resolutions for the game, depending on what phone you guys are using, because I will tell you for sure the game looks way sharper and way better <laughs> than it did before the update for me, which is obviously very nice. It just, whenever the resolution gets updated for these games on your phone, you, you can very immediately tell. Like, I loaded the game up and I can instantly tell you that it looks way better right now. So that's good. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual news section here and take a look at everything that they uh, are updating for the game here. So we have some news announcements over here. So thank you for your continued support of Dragon Ball Legends. The app version was updated to uh, updated on the 20th of May. The most recent version is 4.3.0. To continue playing the game, please update to the latest version. So let's see what kind of content they added. So of course, I think they mentioned this in the latest reveals and stuff, but basically they added a uh, new language, Spanish. It's crazy that this game did not support the, Span uh, support the Spanish language up until today. <laughs> so I know there's quite a bit of people... Um, native Spanish speakers that play this game that honestly have had to play in English or other languages that they'd known to actually play the game. Uh, so I'm glad that they're able to enjoy the game in a language that they can fully understand now, so that's always nice. Uh, they added this new daily free treasure chest thing. So a treasure chest that gives out a free item once a day has been added to the shop. Tap the treasure chest every day to get your item. Now, <laughs> this can... This can be seen as uh, from two different angles, I guess I will say. The first angle is free stuff. That's cool. Second angle is the reason why they did this is because of this right here. You can see on the shop icon, bottom left of your screen, there is a little jumping treasure chest that says free item. This entire purpose is to get you to click on the shop button. <laughs> <laughs> you click on the shop button and you can collect your free item from your treasure chest. But the reason why they did this is so that you can get lured into looking at what other items they have available in the shop to coerce you into buying something. That is obviously the reason for this. But let's go ahead and accept our daily gift from the chest. I don't even know if it tells you what the options are here. Let's click on this little thing here. Oh, it does actually. Okay. So you can get a platinum coin, some medals, gold bars, exchange medals, a bunch of different skip tickets. 100 skip tickets is a lot. It's probably like very, very rare to get. 20 adventure keys. You can get 50 slot removers. Wow. That's probably almost impossible to get from this. No way. There's... <laughs> can you imagine someone logging in like day one and they get the 600 multi z power for legends limited there's actually no way <laughs> the rates on this have to be like one in a billion or something if you get this let me know down below in the comments and like tweet it out and link me a, a link to the tweet because i don't believe you <laughs> Uh, 100 energy is pretty good. Any of the Z power is very good. So, I mean, again, it's just free stuff. But the point behind this is to get you to click on the shop. So, let's go ahead and click this. What are we going to get here? Like 10 energy or something? Five gold bars. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about free stuff. So, that's good. Right, let's head back to the news here. Okay. What's next on the list? So, it looks like we have an easier party formation. Now, they actually did tweet out a teaser image of what the party formation screen looks like. They completely changed the layout. We'll go ahead and take a look at that after this. So, tapping a tag on a character's details screen will show other characters with the same tag. Added the option to prioritize party members that work well with your leader when using auto-select on the party formation screen. 
added a recommended allies feature to make it even easier to form a party. Tap the recommended button on the party formation screen to display three recommended allies that work well with the currently selected character, which obviously is meant to work in tandem with the leader slot there. Uh, added battle style to the equipment filter. So this is basically a snapshot of what the new party screen is going to look like. We'll play around with it in a second. Um, the UI of the menu character screen has been changed to a more user-friendly layout. I mean, I think a lot of people are going to be sort of split on whether or not they like this new layout or not. And that's always going to happen whenever they make these big sweeping changes to something that's been in the game for a long time, right? They've made these sort of small incremental changes to the party screen in the past. In fact, they've made a lot of changes to the party screen. Um, but this is clearly the biggest change they've ever made. They're completely reorganizing and restructuring the way that it's like displayed. So uh, it's going to take a bit of time to adjust to that. So I think even if you don't like it right now, maybe once you use it for a little bit, you'll warm up to it, I think. I'm not going to judge this too fast. Like uh, I haven't even used it yet. Some events are now easier to play. In order to make it easier to boost characters, the bonus battles for each element have been adjusted to increase the number of souls that can be obtained. That is very good, because I actually do do those pretty frequently on the weekend for Legends Weekend. Other adjustments. Added a button to the co-op and raid results screen that returns you back to the matchmaking screen. That is good. If you are just doing your daily runs in the co-op battles, you don't have to go through those like three different menus anymore. You can just click the go back button and you'll be able to just quickly queue up again right away, which is nice. Uh, in order to make it easier to go on lots of adventures, the number of Chrono Crystals required to haste has been reduced. I <laughs> Honestly, no matter what number they reduce that to, I haven't even looked, but uh, for 99% of players, I recommend not ever hasting because it's, it's never worth it. To make it easier to keep track of your job requests, the number you currently have is now displayed with the adventure button on the menu screen. Just to show what they're talking about, you can see right here, that's how many adventures you currently have in your inventory. So I currently have 36 out of 100 possible uh, job requests there. All right, going back to the news here. Uh, let's go back all the way down here. Uh, remove the restriction that kept characters from going on adventures and being put in training at the same time. That's good because generally, whenever I pull a new character, I will like set my adventures and then like, oh, I accidentally put the character I wanted to train in the adventures. So now I have to like stop the adventure. Uh, the how to get details for equipment in your possession can now be viewed from the equipment details screen. After completing the daily missions, the rewards will now be automatically received upon returning to the home screen. That's pretty good. Um, plus, once the daily missions have been completed, compl uh, recommended missions will now appear on the daily mission screen. A button linking to the beginner's guide to legend site has been added. Load times have been improved. Yeah, the, t the title screen is even like a bit faster now, which is fine, but it wasn't even that bad anyway. Added a delete account option to the title screen. Uh, well, all right. Uh, there's a lot of bug fixes there, and then it says for upcoming updates, the following updates have been postponed and will be implemented at a later date. The matchmaking rules for players with high battle ranks in rank, uh, rating matches has been adjusted. So that's not yet implemented. That is coming out later. Um, and then, let's see, what else do we got? We have these Legends Premium missions. I'll talk about that probably in a second. Um... Let me actually go check that out right now. So if we go to the missions tab, I've seen a lot of people wondering whether or not it's, you know, they think it's worth buying these or not. So if we go over, I assume it's in the special tab. Yeah, here we go. Legends Premium Missions. This is only available for four days. That actually makes it a bit more difficult to decide because initially what I was going to tell you guys is just not to buy this until the anniversary comes out and then decide. But... <laughs> Because this is only available for four days, it makes it pretty difficult. Um, all right, so you have to spend 3,000 crystals. But keep in mind, that is three multis. And I am assuming what they're going to be doing for the anniversary is what they did for Legends Festival, where they have the three times sparking rates and three times Z power for the banners. I am not telling you that it's 100% guaranteed, but if there's any time to bring that back, it's probably during the anniversary. So I do expect that to return, but it's maybe it won't. Because normally on these um, LF step up banners, we still had two times rates and then two times uh, Z power. So if they want to bring back the three times, this is the time to do it. Um, so you're going to be able to get, assuming you complete all these missions, which you definitely should if you buy this, 600 Legends Limited Multi Z power. You're going to get 3, 6, 9, 12... Uh, does it just tell you all the rewards on the thing? Okay, so you're going to get 300 erasers. I wish it would just tell you like all the rewards. Does it tell you if you hold it down? No. Okay, well, 
main rewards. It only tells you the main reward. Okay, so you get 300 erasers. You're going to be getting 200 EXE power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, platinum coins, 200 sparking Z power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1,000 energy. What is that? 1,000 skip tickets? So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1,000 skip tickets. You're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 100 soul medals. You're getting, what is that, 300 gold bars? 200 more EXZ power. And 200 more sparking Z power. So that's a lot of stuff. Here's the thing. The anniversary right now. So here's what I would do if I were you guys. This is This is what I would do, honestly. If I were you... I would wait until the last possible day to buy this. And then I think it probably is worth buying this. And the reason why I'm telling you guys to wait until the last possible day to buy this, and this is only if you already have a 600 multi-Z power for Legends Unlimited, because you can't hold more than one. So the reason why I think you guys, if, if you guys already have a 600 Legends Unlimited multi-Z power in your inventory, I would tell you guys to wait until the last possible time to purchase this, and then I would say it's probably worth going ahead and purchasing this. Um, the reason why I say that is because you can keep this extra 600 Legends of Limited Multi-Z Power in your gift box before it expires for seven days. Now, the anniversary comes out in seven days from now. Seven, eight, give or take, like one, one day or two, right? Um, if you wait the four days until this goes away and you buy this right before it goes away, you'll have a buffer of like two to three days after the banners come out for the anniversary to be able to use that extra multi-Z power that's in your gift box, plus the one that you already have in your, in your inventory. So that would be my recommendation. Um, I mean, 3,000 crystals for a guaranteed copy of any Legend of the character I think is definitely worth it. Plus you're also getting all these resources, literally like 300 erasers, a bunch of other Z power, um, skip tickets energy who knows what you'll need these for during the anniversary i guarantee you they're going to release 500 million things to farm i'm going to tell you guys right now they did not increase the limit for skip tickets for no reason <laughs> they did that for a reason um so i'm going to go ahead and buy this but i'm going to take my own advice and i'm going to buy this um right before it goes away so that i have as much time as possible to use uh this extra z power so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the new character party screen here. So this is obviously way different. This is my this is my friendship. <laughs> let's not look at this. Uh, let's go over here to my LOE team with the LF androids on them. So definitely way different. I think this obviously aesthetically looks way better than the old screen. Um, just in terms of actual usability, again, I think it will take a little bit of time just to get used to how this layout is. But my favorite part about this is the fact that you don't have to click any button to see the equipment on your characters, right? Previously, you had to click the party formation button to be able to go in and like click each individual unit to see uh, the equipment. Or you can click on that one button on the right that would show everything. Now, we don't have to go from the screen at all because it has everything laid out on there already for you. You can tell all the equipments on these Android's characters. Like, I can click... Um, on the character and go to this if I want to. But if you know what the equipment does, you don't have to do that. I don't. I guess it also plays the <laughs> plays the sound of the character. If you hold down... Yeah, so if you hold down, you can also just look at the equipment too without uh, having to go in individually. So it's pretty cool. So let's go to the equipment screen. I assume this is the same, right? Yeah, this is the same. Okay, cool. Um, upgrade is just soul boosting. Party formation is... Okay, so the party formation screen brings you back to the old uh, screen here. This is how you actually equip your characters with, uh, I guess, you know, the, the stuff. And you can, yeah, you can go back to the old screen if you want to. But this is pretty much an obsolete screen because you have this option just in the normal screen now, right? This is literally just this. I, <laughs> that's going to get real ill, like... <laughs> <laughs> right now, that them saying that every time is going to get old. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how this is going to work now. I do like this better, um, personally. I mean, again, it's going to take a bit to get used to it just because it's, it's new. But um, there, there's less menuing that you need to do in order to get through everything. But that's pretty much the entire update. 
I didn't really see anything else really to talk about here. It wasn't like a massive update, but honestly, <laughs> the funniest thing is the biggest thing, in my opinion, uh, isn't even visible for you guys because it's the resolution update. <laughs> Everything looks like actually like twice as clear <laughs> on my phone than it used to, but uh, that's the update. Again, I think um, yeah, overall very good update. Not really much to complain about. So um, don't forget to get your free gift from the shop uh, and don't get uh, persuaded or coerced into buying anything else. Trust me, it's that's the purpose of that. But get your free item, get out, and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys think about this update, and I'll see you all in the next one.